Hello, in this video we'll be looking at forces and stresses on timbers. Timbers can be used to give structure and strength to many wooden products. Think of a wooden chair. The legs must be strong enough to take the weight of the chair plus the weight of the person sitting on it. The legs must have good compressive strength. Compressive strength is the ability of timber to resist being squeezed. The back of the chair must be strong enough to take the force of someone leaning back against it. The back must have good bending strength. Bending strength is the ability of timber to resist being bent. Different types of timber have different strengths and weaknesses. Oak is a particularly strong timber that can be used for the manufacture of beams in the construction of buildings. Beech is another strong timber that is used to make the benches that you use in the workshop. Scots pine is often used to construct roof trusses. The timber is relatively lightweight and has good compressive strength, enabling it to take the weight off the roof. The strength of timber is also influenced by its cross section. A thicker piece of timber is going to be stronger than a thin cross section of timber. Defects in timber will also negatively affect the strength of the timber. Knots will almost certainly weaken timber and must be positioned so that they do not compromise the structure. Knowledge check. Please try and answer the questions below. What can timber give to a product? What does compressive strength mean? Why must the chair have good compressive strength? What does bending strength mean? Why must the back of the chair have good bending strength? Do all timbers have the same strength and weaknesses? Can you explain how defects in timber have an effect on its strength? Pause the video and have a go at answering the questions now. Okay, so the answer to question one is structure and strength. Number two, the ability of timber to resist being squeezed. Number three, the legs must be strong enough to take the weight of the chair plus the weight of the person who is sitting on it. Number four, the ability of the timber to resist being bent. Number five, to take the force of someone leaning back on it. Number six, no. And number seven, knots weaken the timber. You can find more helpful information on Mr. Casements on YouTube. Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. The information for this video was sourced from the WJC Educus GCSE 19 Design and Technology textbook.